Hey all, Wild for Games here, your Streamlab advisor to help you with everything you need to know about Streamlabs OBS. And in this video right here, I'm going to show you how to optimize your settings in Streamlabs OBS so that way you got the best quality. Let's go. If you're brand new to streaming and you're not really sure what kind of settings you should have for your Streamlabs OBS, don't worry, Streamlabs provides an awesome feature that auto detects what hardware and internet you have and recommends the best settings for you. So that way you're good to get up and running right away. But if you're the type of streamer that wants to have a little more hands-on experience and control your settings and output, this video is for you. Having settings that are way too high for your machine can wreak havoc on your stream. So we need to make sure you choose the proper encoding options. To adjust settings, open Streamlabs OBS and click on the settings cog in the lower left-hand corner. To change the encoder, navigate to output in the settings window. When it comes to encoders, there are two types, X264 and NVENC, also known as NVENC. The software encoder X264 will use your CPU to encode video, while hardware encoders like NV Inc. will offload the encoding process to your GPU. Picking the best encoder that will work for you depends on a few factors. If you have a powerful GPU or dedicated streaming PC, consider using hardware encoder like NV Inc. In most cases, the software encoder X264 will be able to handle the encoding process as long as your CPU isn't being overtaxed in other areas. To ensure your CPU isn't being overtaxed, we can make some adjustments to settings to optimize the performance and quality of your machine. Making adjustments to quality and resolution can have a significant impact on your quality of your live streams and performance while using Streamlabs OBS. For example, streaming at 1080p versus 720p will double the number of pixels, meaning your computer will be using more resources. To adjust your resolution, select video from the side panel in the settings window. You can leave the base resolution at 1920 by 1080 since in most cases, this is the standard size of the content you are streaming. However, it's recommended to lower the output scaled resolution since streaming in 1080p can have a significant impact on your CPU. We actually recommend lowering the output scale to 720. This will ensure a good balance of performance and quality. Making adjustments to the CPU usage preset is a great way to balance between performance and quality. Navigate yourself over to the output in the settings window. By default, the encoder is set to very fast, which will provide a great balance between performance and quality. Basically, the faster it encodes, the less CPU it uses. In the latest update to Streamlabs OBS, we introduced a new feature called Dynamic Bitrate. This feature allows the software to automatically adjust your bitrate based on your network conditions preventing dropping frames. If you wanna learn any more about dynamic bitrate, I'm gonna put a card here at the top that goes a little more in depth about it. To enable dynamic bitrate, make sure you download the latest version of Streamlabs OBS and navigate to the advanced in the settings window. Scroll down and toggle the box next to the option that says dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. Here at Streamlabs, it's our goal to make sure you have a great balance between quality and performance. And if you ever have any questions about any of our features, you might wanna take a look at our videos. I'm gonna do you a favor though, I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that shows you everything you need to know about the new edition of Dynamic Bit Rate. It's a really great video, and I recommend taking a look right after this. Until next time, my name's Wild for Games, and I will see all of you awesome people in the next Streamlabs video coming out real soon. Take care all, and peace.